Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. Glad to be with you today. I want to thank you very much, amen, for your support, for your comments to me when you see me, and I want you to know I appreciate that so much. And we are continuing with our thought of receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. Receive the Holy Spirit. This is taken from Acts chapter 19. Uh, have you received the Holy Spirit uh, since you believe? Amen. You say you're a believer. Amen. Then you need the spirit of worship, which is the Holy Spirit on the inside. Amen. Because we need that because our spirit alone or our truth alone is not enough. It's insufficient. We need the sufficiency of God on the inside. Amen. And so it's very important, amen, that we have the Holy Spirit. You can't go to heaven without it. It's that simple. No, you can't. <laughs> no, no, you can't go. You got to have it. Yes, you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's what the old folks used to say so many years ago, it's uh, holiness or hell. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they said, amen, yeah. But now everybody's going to heaven, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I just want you to know, I don't know how large heaven is, uh, but hell is enlarging itself to take all those that want to go because it's hard to get to hell. you got to want to go bad, yes, you do. And you got to reject the counsel of God in order to go to hell, yeah. Yeah, in the Bible, you know, with the lawyers, amen, they rejected the counsel of God. The Pharisees and the Sadducees, yeah, the so-called church people of that day, they rejected the counsel of God. They were more concerned about the outside than the inside, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, uh-huh. It's all about Jesus, yes, it is. He's a wonderful Savior. He's the Deliverer. Oh, yeah. He's God in the flesh. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit, you know, he lodges on the inside and, and speaks. Yeah. And while Apostle Peter was speaking, this is in Acts chapter 10, speaking to the Gentiles, mm -hmm, now, the Holy Spirit fell on all those who heard the word. See, that's a significant thing right there. You got to hear this word. Mm-hmm. Faith come by hearing, and by hearing the word of God. Men and women, amen, of faith, amen. They are putting out, they are producing the word of God because the Lord is soon to come, and the Lord is getting her church ready. Yes! <laughs> yeah, 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 He's making a man, yeah, uh, in church, yeah. Yeah, until we all come to that full statue. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't... Uh, you don't, you don't believe that God is still making a man run? Amen. This is why it's so important, amen, to get into the word of God. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Adam, amen, uh, he was a failure. Yes, he was. Adam and Eve were a failure. Yeah, uh-huh. So God, uh, uh, he figured uh, something out that what, that he could do, amen, uh, that he could be able to, to help everybody that wanted to be helped to a vehicle of the church. And he declared that the gates of hell shall not prevail against uh, uh, the church. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking about that man, right? Okay. All right. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4, uh, verse uh, number 13. All right. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 13 till we all come in the unity of the faith mm -hmm, and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. All right. Go read that again. We're talking about a perfect man. Talking about the fullness of Christ, this is why you need the Holy Spirit, because you cannot say that Jesus is God, that Jesus is Jehovah, unless you have the Holy Spirit on the inside. To we all come to the unity of the faith 
and of the knowledge of the Son of God. He's more than Mary's baby. He's Mary's God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unto a perfect man, talking about Jesus, he came here perfected. Yes, he did. Unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Verse number 14, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. And so you've got people that want to deceive you and tell you that you don't need the Holy Spirit anymore. Well, no, you don't, you don't need it. If you're not going to heaven, you don't need it. There's no purpose for it because the Holy Spirit is not going to do me, you any good in hell. No, mm -mm. And, and you're going to have a body in hell that you're going to burn forever. Amen, amen. And you're going you're gonna to feel that pain. You're going, no, no, no. You're not going to be like the Hebrew children. Amen. And where their clothes was not uh, impacted and uh, not even a strand of hair was impacted. No, you're not going to be like that. No, sir. No, ma'am. It's not going to be that way. No. Uh -uh. Uh, you are going to have a body prepared so that you can burn forever and not consume. You know, like the burning bush. Yeah. You're going to be a burning bush in hell. Amen. Mm hmm. Uh, you're talking about some um, anguish. Mm. 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 Uh, we cannot imagine the pain or the agony that we're going to go through in hell because we refuse to receive the Holy Spirit on earth. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. The Holy Spirit lodges on the inside and speaks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you look in Acts chapter 10, as Cornelius' uh, door was open, amen, uh, for all Gentiles, amen, to receive baptism in Jesus' name, and the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance. Mm -hmm. And then Peter answered, talking to his audience, Can anyone forbid water mm -hmm. that these should not be baptized who have received the Holy Spirit, just as we have. Notice, I said, well, I'm telling you, you got to do your research. Notice here mm, that they received the Holy Spirit before they were baptized in Jesus' name. There's people that have the Holy Spirit, the genuine Holy Spirit, God himself on the inside, and have not mm, been baptized in Jesus' name. They haven't taken on the name of God. No, they have not. You know, that shouldn't be surprised because naturally speaking, you know, people have children out of wedlock if they don't sign that affidavit. If, right, right. Yeah, they got mama's name. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's not right. It's not fair. Mm hmm. Uh, many children go through life, amen, don't know who their father is, amen. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the mother hides the identity of the father, for whatever reason. Yeah, whatever, whatever reason, whatever excuse. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking to you today, amen, about receiving the Holy Spirit, amen. And the name of the Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ. Send the Spirit in my name. Jesus, yeah. Only, that's the only name, Jesus. Yeah, the Lord Jesus Christ. King of kings. Lord of Lords, the great I am, talking about Jesus. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's so important to read and believe the gospel. Believe the Bible. Believe the Word of God. Apostle Peter clarifies in Acts 11 17. If therefore God gave them as the Gentiles the same gift mm -hmm, as he gave us when we believe on the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm, who was I that I could withstand God? 
Yeah, this is Acts eleven seventeen. If therefore God gave them, the Gentiles, the same gift as he gave us when we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I that I could withstand God? Hmm. 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 I think about this verse, particularly today, because, you know, you got some people that think certain people can't receive the Holy Spirit. It's not true. That is not true. That's the spirit of Antichrist. That's the spirit of deceit. That's not true. Anybody can receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Anybody. Don't let nobody deceive you. Amen. You can receive it, amen. Uh, the reason you're struggling, the reason you can't, is because your lack of faith, your lack of belief, uh, your mind, mm -hmm, the very center of your heart, amen, as you have not prepared it to receive it. Husband's in the way, children's in the way, things are in the way, yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people love things more than people, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's why you cannot receive. And then, of course, you may have been taught to tarry. Yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, my daughter, uh, she tarried for a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I belonged to a church in Oxford, and uh, I worked the altar uh, almost 20 years. Yeah. Worked the altar. Yeah. Uh, it's one thing that I've learned that if a person is not ready, if their mind is not made up, if they are not convicted, mm -hmm. Yeah, if they don't really want this thing, amen, then they're not going to receive it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Why would God want to enter you when you don't even want it? Mm hmm. That's the trouble we're having in churches today. It's that people don't want to attend church, amen. They don't want to abide by the rules of the church, amen, because they are not convicted, they are not fully persuaded, well, check your Bible out again in Romans, so let every man be fully persuaded. Yeah. Fully persuaded. Yes. Yes, that's in uh, Romans uh, 14, I believe, isn't it? Romans 14? I mean, you read your you read your Bible, and where you at, you know, you are, are playing the role uh, of a hypocrite, because you don't believe in what's going on in your own church. And you're right there. Yeah. yeah you're a hypocrite. Yes, you are. You are pretend, you're pretending like you believe, but you don't believe. Amen. Amen. And you're not man or woman enough, amen, to pray unto the Lord and find you a church where you can work out your own soul's salvation with fear and trembling according to the word of God. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Romans 14, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Verse number five, one man esteemeth one day above another. You know that's true. Some people worship Saturday. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They believe that uh, they're into it because they worship Saturday. Okay, fine. Okay, fine, that's what you do. Amen. But you know, you've got to live every day holy, not just on the Sabbath day, on Saturday, the seventh day. Yeah. Because uh -huh. you weren't given the Sabbath day. No, you weren't. <laughs> no, 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 you were not given the Sabbath day. The Jewish people were given the Sabbath day. Amen. Uh, in fact, uh, Matthew uh, hey, chapter 28 Matthew chapter 28 talks about the end of the Sabbath. And when you look to the scripture, it talks about the, the Son of Man is Lord over the Sabbath. Jesus brought a new day, a new dimension, a new level. Yeah. Jesus did. He brought in a new day. Yes, he did. Sunday, the first fruit day. Yes, he did. But you got to be fully persuaded in him. But you know, you just can't live Holy Sunday and be unholy the rest of the week. Yeah. Yeah. Nowhere in the Constitution 
does it talk about separation of church and state? That's a man-made thing. Read your constitution. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, as our bishop said, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's Romans uh, 14. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As I remember uh, coming up, uh, I had a lot of Sabbath day keepers. Loved them, too. They were into the dietary law. You know, oh, and that's fine. That's fine. You can do all of that. That's great. But you got to live holy. Because without holiness, you're not going to see the Lord. So, one man esteems one day above another. Another esteems every day alike. Let every man, right here, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. And you are not persuaded. No, you're no, you not. No, you're not. You're not man or woman enough to admit it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You got to love the Lord every day. Yeah. You know, the Lord Jesus Christ, he really simplified things. And our bishop, Bishop Damon White, he brought this out so eloquently, amen, uh, in Bible study. Everybody ought to go to Bible study. Your church ought to have a Bible class. And not uh, teaching movie clips or uh, uh, books, but uh, from the Word of God. Amen. Take your notes from the Word of God and from your prayer time with the Lord and let the Lord reveal some things to you. Amen. And uh, uh, Bishop uh, White went on to talk about the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You know, and then he went on to talk about what Jesus said. What all the law and prophecy hangs on. Mm -hmm. Loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, strength, and understanding, and loving your neighbor as yourself. That's why racist is not going to heaven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a revelation for you, isn't it? Uh -huh. You think because of your color that you are superior and that you're going, now you're going to hell. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because God is no respecter of person, right? He made everybody. Yes, he did. Sure he did. Sperm and an egg. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Uh, we were all started out as germs. Yes, we did. <laughs> Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. We're talking about receiving the Holy Spirit. Amen. So you can get past what you see and recognize that there's a greater you on the inside when you receive the Holy Spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hatred is not going. It's listed in the Bible as uh, being too heavy. <laughs> my words, my words, amen. But hatred is in there about amen. It's works of the flesh, amen, and it will bar from the kingdom of God. So, no, you're not going, amen. Mm -hmm. You're not going, amen. You better find out now so you can do something about it if you want to. But you've got so many uh, friends, amen, that think like you, amen, that you're special because you are a certain color or a certain gender, and you're going to find out that it's not so. And I hope you find out why you're still living, because as you live, you're going to die. And if you live unholy, you're going to die unholy, and you're going to end up in an unholy place, and that's hell forever. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Amen. So we looked at this verse, the last part, uh, Romans 14, uh, verse number 5. Amen. Let every man, I'm talking about every man, you know, humankind, men and women. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because we all come here the same way. Yes, we do. We all came from Adam and Eve. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah, yes, we did. Amen. If you don't believe that, you don't believe the Bible. Amen. Then you're not a man or woman of faith. Amen. So uh, that's sad. That's really sad. This is why you need the Holy Spirit so that you can be transformed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Transformed. That's a couple pages over in Romans chapter 12. Mm -hmm. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, under God, which is your reasonable service. And then verse number two, 
Amen. Where so many people are living right here in verse number 2, Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not conformed to this world. And you know, there's all kind of rage and violence in this world, and you can't conform to it. it you got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, and you cannot be transformed without the Holy Spirit on the inside because the Holy Spirit is a transformer. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We're talking about receiving the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'll read this scripture one more time before we move on. If therefore God gave them, the Gentiles, the same gift. Yeah, the same spirit, the same gift, the same. There's not different Holy Ghost. There's only one Holy Ghost, one Holy Spirit, one Spirit of God. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 First Corinthians chapter twelve. Now we're talking about receiving the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter twelve, verse number four. Now there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Verse number five. And there are differences of administration, but the same law. Verse number six, and there are diversities of operations, but it is the same God which works all in all. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about receive the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. What a privilege it is, amen, to have the Holy Spirit of God on the inside. It's a wonderful, wonderful privilege and, and honor for the indwelling spirit, amen, to lead and guide into all truth. It's worth it all. Yes, it is. It's worth all the lies and all the rejections and all of that other. It's worth it all. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. God might receive the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible reads then, God has also granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. You can't live <laughs> holy without repentance. Yeah. Going to repent or perish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think about that January 6th day, don't you? Mm hmm When uh, these white people, mm hmm certainly don't want to call them Americans, attacking the capital, the seat of our government. You know, the government has always favored white people. As long as I can remember. <laughs> have always favored white people, yeah. And these white people, amen, attacked the government that has given them so many benefits. And some of them were probably receiving government benefits. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's what they seek will do. This is what the Antichrist will do. It's a type of the Antichrist against authority, against the government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a leader. Yes, they do. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, yeah, he's in the very seat of D.C. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, and so are his followers. Yes, yes, indeed. Amen. Amen. Mm. My, my. There is no heavenly eternal life without Jesus Christ and the gift of the Holy Spirit. The same thing. The same spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said so himself. 
in John 10, 30, I and my Father are one. Yeah. The Word of God uh, declares it even in uh, 1 John. If you go back to, uh, to 1 John, yeah, and uh, you go back to uh, the 5th chapter, yeah, have you read that? Are you there already? First John, first epistle of John, chapter five, verse number seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. Not three and one, but one. See, unless you have the Holy Spirit, you cannot mind that. You can't get your mind around that because it takes faith and the Holy Spirit is the faith giver. <laughs> yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jesus came that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Yes. Yeah. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief's tactics are insufficient to succeed against the church triumphant. Mm. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the God's elect. Mm -hmm. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Believers are persuaded that not anything shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? Repent, believe the gospel of Jesus, and act on the word of faith. Be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, for the removal of your sins, for the erasing of your sins, for the blotting out of your sins, for the doing away with your sins, and receive the gift of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues as the Holy Spirit gives utterance. The apostles were baptized in Jesus' name on the day of Pentecost. The people of Samaria were baptized in Acts 8. In Acts 9, Paul was baptized. Acts 10, Cornelius and his household were baptized and received the Holy Spirit. It's happening today. One can't be holy without the Holy Spirit. Baptism in Jesus' name is for the remission of sins. Neither is there salvation in any other. There is no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. Salvation is of the Lord. It's marvelous in our eyes. The blind man said it best in John 9. One thing I know, that though I was blind, now I see John 9, 38, Lord, I believe. And he worshiped him. And believers, uh, they will worship. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you.